Hello, this is Bobby Capucci. I'd like to thank you for joining us for another PT on the Net video interview. My guest today is world-renowned speaker and author, Pete Cohen. Pete, how are you today? I am doing very well. Thank you very much in the city of my birth, London town. Well, today at the Renaissance St. Pancras in London, what we're going to talk about is weight loss strategies. How do we overcome some of the obstacles that present themselves to us in the form of resistance with our clients. Now, Pete, what happens when somebody comes in and so many people still want to talk about weight loss and cosmetic augmentation, but yet we tell them what to do based on our knowledge, our training, our expertise, and the highest level of empathy, yet we still struggle getting them from where they are to where they want to be. Why does that happen? Well, I think sometimes we fail to look at the world through someone else's eyes. And the fact of the matter is, just look at the words, losing weight. How negative is that? Losing, as if you're a loser, and weight, something that's heavy, and something you've got to wait for something to happen. The whole field of losing weight for people is a very negative experience. And somehow, as instructors, we have to kind of turn that around and make it a positive experience. Because the fact of the matter is, if someone has tried to lose weight in the past, they are, whether they like it or not, they're a loser. And we want to try and turn a loser into a winner. Well, how do we do that? Well, we have got to try and make the whole experience fun. And we have got to get our clients to have empathy with us. We've got to help them feel comfortable with us. So sometimes, rather than getting them in a gym and starting to exercise, sit down, especially if they're a woman, and do something actually quite profound, which is listen to them. Because often when people talk, about their experience, they can make sense of their experience, they can feel almost as if there is a way out of how they've done things in the past. Because you know, if you've always if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. So the, the, the secret as instructors is we have to learn to have flexibility in our approach, learn to change our approach, and understand that this is probably the main point I really want to make. I'm sorry if I'm going on and on and on here Bobby but you know I'm very very passionate about what I do and when it comes to weight loss we often look at the body and we don't really look at the mind if we look at some basic human needs you know obviously food shelter love sex but another massive human need is affirmation and if we don't get affirmation from other people we will get affirmation if you think about the biggest thing you'll ever do in your life the biggest way you'll ever affirm yourself is through eating. That's how people learn to feel good about themselves, is by eating. And again, we have to help people find affirmation in what they're doing. Affirmation in their exercise, affirmation in drinking water, affirmation in just enjoying what they're doing. Because, you know what, if people enjoy what they're doing, then there is a chance, there is a chance that they actually might continue what they're doing. So, if I was an instructor, I would really, well, not if I was, I am, I was a trainer for many years, and I got very frustrated by the amount of people that would join a gym, and then after a very short period of time, you'd never see them again. It was really because I lacked the skills in helping people shift their, their perspective. I lack the skills in helping people see things differently. But when people see things differently, they just might do things differently. Thank you, Pete.